Okay guys, so today I'm going to show you uh, a, an online web tool called Flipgrid, um, which could help you if you're having problems um, getting all your students on Google Hangouts and Meet or Zoom at the same time. You know, they have work schedules or they're just not participating. Um, Flipgrid is a great way to simply ask a question within this website and then you just give out a link and then students could record their responses uh, anytime that they like it doesn't have to be live and they could record their answer to you through a video okay so I'm gonna show you just how this looks but you could see here I actually use this for my college that I teach and uh, all I do is I ask the students in the beginning you know what's your names your educational history and um, they reply when they can I give them about four days to reply and they could reply on their own it's not live they could record themselves within this website or within the Flipgrid app and you could see here these are just the videos um, that the students had responded with um, and if I just click on one, you can see here how the students actually um, record themselves. And it's a very, very short video. So I'm just going to show you how to do this step by step. So the first thing that you do is just go to google.com, type in Flipgrid, and choose flipgrid.com. Okay. If you've never logged in onto this before, you're going to choose Educator Sign Up. Uh, if you have logged on to this before, you're going to choose Educator Login. So the first time, choose Educator Sign Up, and then uh, the next time you come into Login, you choose Educator Login. So I'm going to choose Educator Login. You're going to click Google Login because you're going to use your school Google account. And the first thing you're going to see is called My Grids. Think of grids as your classrooms. Okay, so as, as high school teachers, we actually have uh, five classes, so you would create five grids. So right now, if you're new to this, you're not going to have any grids. So you would choose Add New Grid. And then you could just name your grid. Um, the name of your classroom. So you could say uh, Algebra 2 period 3. Then you're going to choose school email because you want the student to log in with their school account. Uh, create a flip code. You could just whatever they give you here or you could just make your own. Um, I'm going to type in Wells234 and then click Next. And then it's going to ask you to add the school email domain, which I'm going to type in northbergen.k12.nj.us and click Enter. And that's what you want to type in. Okay, so it's not your e email, it's the email domain. So we're going to click Next. And then when you get to this, just click on the X button. Now, like I said, if you have um, five classes, you could just choose here, Actions, and you could cl click Duplicate Grid, Duplicate. If the duplicating takes too long, you could just click again, Add New Grid, and type in Algebra 2, period, 4. Same thing, school email. Um, you could just choose the code that they give you here. Click next, and northbergen.k12.nj.us should still be listed there. You click next. Just click off X. Now you have uh, two classrooms, which is AKA two grids. Okay, so um, let's start talking about topics. So I'm going to click on um, Algebra 2, period 3 here. And you guys have the option to actually edit this. So if you want to click on the pencil icon, you could edit the grid. You could change a name. You could change the, the flip code required. You can make your own little URL if you want here. Uh, we're going to keep this. We're going to keep this. Okay, features. Notifications. Um, anytime a student submits a video, you could get 
an email that's daily of all the students that submit it, weekly, or every time a student um, submits a new video, um, you would get an email. Now, if you have 150 students, that's going to be a lot. That you, that your inbox will be really, really flooded. So, it depends on you what you want to do. Um, I'm going to just show you um, a quick step on why you should turn this on and then why you should not. So right now I'm going to choose, um, I'm going to keep it on daily. And then here's just options that you could play with. Do you want the students to download them after they create their videos? You can turn it on if you want. Captions, grid followers, make your uh, grid active. You could choose active for now and I'll show you how to turn that off later. And then personalize if you want to make, um, they give you a default picture. You could choose pictures here textures, people, or you could upload your own by clicking this. Okay, so now we're going to talk about adding topics. Now adding topics, that's, you're going to add um, a question, like an essential question or a reflection. That's what it means by topic. Topic really means question. So if you click add topic, You could type in um, the topic title, reflection, or even checking in. How long do you want their video to be? Do you want to be a limit of 1 minute and 30 seconds, 3 minutes, or 5 minutes? I usually give my students uh, 3 minutes so their videos are not too long and too short. Okay, here's where you would add your question. Um, you could just say something like, receiving... And then here you could just add like a picture um, to put on top of your grid. I usually click on add a Giphy and then just put uh, miss you, missy new. And you can just add something like cute like this. I miss your face. Click select and that'll be your, your topic photo. Okay, um, you also have more options down here. A topic tip I never use. Topic attachments do you... Um, uh, want to attach any like work or any YouTube videos attached to it. Um, here where you're going to see topic moderation. This is the most important thing that you want to see. If moderated, videos will be hidden from students until you activate them. This is really important if you don't want students to see other students' videos. If you have students who are likely to make fun of each other or like take screenshots of each other, um, you would want to moderate that so you will see the video before anybody else can. So you would turn that on. Okay, so right now um, your grid is actually open. Keep it active. I would just keep this uh, active for now and then after a couple days just choose hidden. Okay, uh, do you want students to reply to each other? You could turn it on or off. And launch and freeze dates. So maybe you want to launch this topic. Maybe you want to launch this topic the 19th and then close it the 23rd. That means um, they can't see it anymore after the 23rd. When the students finish your video, they could actually add like little stickers and drawing and text on their um, selfies that they could snap. Do you want that to happen? I mean, we don't really know what kind of stickers that they could add to it. So um, if you're in doubt, just click on none. Uh, I usually click none on mine. But if you have a, if you have a good bunch of um, students that you trust, you could turn it on. So right now I'm going to keep none. Um, can students make a title of their video? You know, depends on you. If you think they're going to add something that's inappropriate, turn it off. View count, you could keep it on. Sticky notes, um, I'd probably turn off. Video editing, definitely, because what if kids like start to stutter or hiccup in their video? Keep it on. Um, and links, likes, allow students to like other videos. You, you could actually turn or keep that off. Basic feedback, um, you could actually grade them through this. So if you want to do that, you could keep it on. Um, I actually don't do it. I just turn it off. So we're not going to touch anything here. Then you just click on Create Topic. Okay, so once you just fix your topic, you can just go back to my grids. And if we click on here, if you want to duplicate it, 
click on duplicate topic and then you can move it to your other Flipgrid class. So we could choose here, select only the topic. You can see here you can add a co-pilot which means you can add a co-teacher. Now just uh, remember that the co-teacher should actually log on to Flipgrid first to make sure that they have an account and then all you do is click on add a co-pilot which means add a teacher and then you just start typing um, their name here and then you click invite. If the person had, does not log in yet and they didn't make their account this is going to give you an error message. Um, Copilots must be Flipgrid ed educators. So make sure that that uh, teacher actually logged in first. Okay, also, I want to give you guys a heads up. If you forgot to turn off or on email notifications, um, I just wanted to give you a heads up. You, you're going to get a lot of emails if you are moderating um, your Flipgrid. Okay, so I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. If you are moderating the videos um, and you turned on to get a response every time a user submits a video, your email will get bombarded with a lot of emails. So to turn off those notifications, you just go back to My Grids and then um, you just choose the period that you're in, choose Actions, and then Grid Notifications. Okay, do you want to get notifications daily? Do you not want to get them at all? If you are moderating each student's video, um, you don't have to turn it on every time they get a, you get a new video response. If you just kept it that they could just turn any video in, uh, you would probably want to keep this on so you could see their video right away. Okay, so that's why I think it's best if you moderate the videos. Uh, this way you could just, you know, keep daily on and you could just log in. Uh, maybe once or twice a day and just see what videos they uploaded and then you could approve it so other students could see it. Okay, so um, once you push this out to Google Classroom, which I'm going to show you how to do right now, uh, you just click on the period that you're in, which is the grid. And then this is uh, the video, the topic that you want. You just click on share. And then this is the link that you copy. So you just click on copy and then just go to Classroom. And you could see um, for day five, I actually put this in as an assignment. I'll show you how it looks. This was day five. Click on the link below to record a Flipgrid video of yourself. And then I asked them a couple of questions. Um, all you do is you would just put your questions here and then click Add choose the link and then you would just paste the link in and choose add link and then that link will turn on the bottom. Um, I also typed in here um, that they could download the Flipgrid app if they don't want to do it from their computer um, and if the the app does ask them a question uh, what is the code um, all you would do is you would give them this code that's listed here. This is the, the end of the URL. That's the code they would put in. Um, all right, so once they submit a response, I'm going to show you how this looks. So if you want to see how the responses look, all you do is you go to the grid and then click on the topic, which you have here. Choose View. And this is what you're going to be seeing. You're going to just be seeing all your students. They could take a selfie at the end. Um, you could see here I turned off uh, stickers, so that's why I didn't have the option to put stickers on. And then you could just click on it and play each one. Okay, um, so I think this is really, really great to do. Um, this is a great thing to do if your students are not showing up for your Google Hangouts or Meet or Zoom meetings because of time restrictions. Um, just simply ask them a question. Um, pretty short and then they could reply when they want to. You see it says record a response. They record it, they have a lot of fun with it and they just post it and then uh, you could see it. Just remember if you're moderating it um, and you don't want the kids to see each other um, that's the option that you have on um, let me show you, let me go back I'm going to click on my Algebra 2 Period 4, click on Edit Topic, 
that's here topic status okay video moderation if moderated videos will be hidden from students until you activate them so if you don't want students to see each other's videos you just turn this feature on okay so only you the teacher could see it um, if you have any questions just let me know okay I think this is a great idea it's optional but I think you should give it a go and just see if the students like it